Natural killer cells are lymphocytes that provide a rapid defense against abnormal or virus-infected cells. They are found in the blood, spleen, lymph nodes, and red bone marrow. Natural killer cells do not have receptors for binding with specific antigens. However, they are able to kill tumor or virus-infected cells that display abnormal major histocompatibility antigens. A natural killer cell can destroy a target cell on contact in two ways. First, it produces perforin, a protein that punches holes in the plasma membrane of the target cell. This brings on cytolysis, the bursting of the cell. Second, natural killer cells release chemicals that infiltrate the tumor or virus-infected cell, causing its death. Phagocytes are white blood cells that ingest microbes or other particulate matter. The two major types of phagocytes are neutrophils and macrophages. Neutrophils are granular leukocytes that are the first to respond to invading microbes. Monocytes quickly follow, transforming into scavenger cells known as wandering macrophages. Phagocytosis is common to both nonspecific and specific defense mechanisms. It operates in a sequential pattern. The pattern begins with chemotaxis. Phagocytes are drawn to a site of infection by migrating towards chemotactic substances such as microbial products, white blood cell components, damaged tissue cells, and activated complement proteins. Next is adherence. A phagocyte makes contact with and adheres to the surface of a microbe. Ingestion, which is also known as endocytosis, follows. The phagocyte extends its cytoplasm around and eventually encloses the microbe in a vesicle, known as a phagosome. The fourth step is digestion. The phagosome merges with lysosomes, forming a single, larger phagolysosome. Lysosome digestive enzymes, and toxic levels of hydrogen peroxide, hypochlorous acid, and other oxidants break down the microbe's structure. Digestion leads to death of many types of microbes. The process concludes with exocytosis. Material that is left over is eventually eliminated by exocytosis. Not all ingested microbes are destroyed by phagocytosis. Some fight back by producing toxins, or multiplying, or simply remaining dormant for months or years.